today we're making a classic Floribian one-pot meal, asopao de pollo y mariscos. It's a chicken and rice stew with shrimp. You're gonna love this. I've got some chicken thighs cleaned and diced in one inch pieces. I'm going to add some thyme and oregano and fresh garlic. A little bit of oil in our pan and we'll start browning. Now I'm just gonna spread these evenly across the bottom of this hot pan, and then I'm gonna try to forget about it and not touch it for at least two or three minutes. And the reason is I wanna get a nice brown sear on the bottom of each of those chicken pieces. Now we're creating the foundation to this dish right now. The French call it the fond. Essentially what I'm doing by not overcrowding the pan using high heat is I'm browning the chicken on one side. That's gonna be the foundation of the roasty, toasty poultry flavor that's gonna pervade this entire dish. We're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of coarsely cut bacon. Now I don't wanna crisp this up, but I do wanna get some color on it. So we're gonna cook this for about another 45 seconds or so. And then we're going to add our peppers, our onions, and our hot chilies. These are habaneros. They're one of my favorite chilies to work with. A little bit goes a long way. About another 45 seconds or a minute and the liquid there will be evaporated and they'll start to get a little color to them. I don't want to turn this dish too sweet. And if I keep caramelizing the onions and peppers, that's what's going to happen. We add our rice, tomatoes, Toasted coconut, a little bit of white wine. In goes our chicken stock. So we wait for this to come to a nice strong simmer, then we'll turn it down to maintain a bare simmer, throw a lid on it, cook it for about 20 minutes. As you can see, the rice is almost completely cooked and the dish is still a little liquidy. We actually want that. And we're gonna add our shrimp. We're gonna add our peas, give this a stir. I'm gonna season this dish twice with lime juice. Once now to get sort of a rich citrus flavor on it, and then again, right before we eat it. After about six, seven, eight minutes, the dish is completely done. So bright and limey, and so deliciously Creole. Mm. Chicken, shellfish, and pork have a tremendous affinity for each other. It's a holy trinity.